Sagittarius, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is going to be for August 19th all the way to August 25th, so welcome, Sag. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. <laughs> and uh, let's talk about what's going on for us this week. We've been talking about this full moon in Aquarius. We talked about it in your reading last week. We talked about it in the freaking weekend, and we're going to talk about it again for this week because it's setting the stage for a lot. And this is happening in your 11th house of friends, groups, co-workers, giving and receiving love, your hopes, wishes, and dreams. The 11th house has got a lot going on in it. You know, it's very social. And with this full moon, there's going to be things bringing to light about your friends, your groups, your hopes, and wishes. Um, on Monday, we have Jupiter square Saturn. There's going to be frustrations and limitations in our opportunities. Um, the sun square Uranus, sudden events that may be happening in the world that affect you in some way. And then we have Venus that is retrograde in opposition to Saturn. So we're going to be feeling frustrated probably about our love relationships and also Venus square Jupiter, which is again, almost like a revisiting of our opportunities, you know, is it causing tension, you know, so a lot of tension going on with this full moon causing us to release, maybe it's time to get rid of some of your friends, you know, it's, it's all in how you interpret it, maybe it's time to let go of limiting beliefs that keep you from um, opening up to your hopes and dreams. Okay. So on August 22nd, the sun is going to be moving out of Leo into Virgo season. So it's going to be Virgo season. That means we're moving out of a fire energy into a earth energy, more practical down to earth. This is when harvest begins because the summer is almost over with. All right, let's give your cards a shuffle, Sag, and see what we got for these energies that are going on and how we can navigate them. Don't forget, I got three options for personal readings. That's all in the description box below. We've got in-person. If you can do that, that's fantastic. If you can't, you're somewhere else on the planet. We can do it over Zoom. Works out great. And I also have a third option because I like to do things in threes. Um, you can go ahead and request certain information about a reading. And within one to two days, I will send you a video response. And it's a link to an unlisted private YouTube video that only you can view at your leisure. So you got options. And don't forget, freaking weekend on Wednesdays. All right, Sag, let's begin. It's funny, this, ace, this eight of cups was at the bottom of the deck and I was going to show it, but I second guessed it and said no. And the fucking thing popped out. That happened in Leo's reading too. Oh my God. Okay, got some cards that fall on the floor. All right. Wow, this is... Pretty cut and dry. Wow. It's like I already knew where these cards were going. Holy shit. All right, Sagittarius. God damn. Okay. First impressions. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to do first impressions and then we'll hit the cards. First impressions for some Sagittarius's are you are walking away from somebody in the past. And you have to almost decide who you're going to choose, the one that's emotional or the one that's stable. Um, it's something you've been waiting for. Take that risk. Okay, that's one message. The other message is, is um, you're walking away from the past, which will give you more clarity, more stability, something you've been waiting for. Take that leap. All right? Now, we've got the Six of Cups, the Eight of Cups. This is definitely walking away from something that's been hindering us in the past. All right? We need to focus on balance. With the justice in the middle here, things balance out. Maybe you're in a polyamorous relationship or something. You know, this all balances out. It's something you've been waiting for. We've got the King of Cups, the Justice, and the King of Pentacles. Intuitive, trusting your emotions, trusting your intuition, and feeling secure and knowing that you deserve whatever comes your way. Three of Wands and the outcome and the Fool, something you've been waiting for. And it's time, it's, it's, a, it's a reset for you. When you walk away from this, there may be two friends that are battling for your acceptance or something, you know? It could be two different groups of friends 
um, yeah, I think that's what it is. Maybe someone from the past you're letting go. It's, it's all an interpretation there, but you can see where this is at. I guess the balance is found by being in touch with your emotions and feeling secure in everything that you do. All right, let's get some oracles. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Sagittarius. We've been focused too much on obstacles and challenges. This full moon could probably bring that stuff to light. Not a problem. Why? Because you're emotionally withdrawing it with the ace... ace, ace blah, 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 blah. Rewind. You're emotionally withdrawing from this situation with the eight, eight of cups again, and you're moving on with the six of swords. Yeah. Definitely moving on here. Huge, 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 huge. And it relieves all that mental conflict. Just trust the universe. Let it flow through you and take your power back. That brings that justice. Yep. That's huge, man. That's a huge message. Sag ain't fucking around this week. Uh-uh. Yeah. Incredible. It was a pretty damn good reading. <laughs> All right. Let's get... Ooh. Let's get some more oracles. Psychic Tarot for the heart. Yeah, that crown chakra came out again. Wow. What are the odds of that happening? On both decks. Two different decks. It's time to rebuild. It's time to rebuild. Walking away from it, moving on. Huge indication of let the universe guide you. 7-7. Seven, seven. That's a spiritual lesson. Just go with the flow. The universe is working here. Divine timing is at work. The wheel of fortune. That's what that flow card is. Just go with the flow. Trust it. Trust it. Trust it. Now let's look at love because I'm pretty sure this is all about love. I haven't got any indicators of it yet. But that eight of cups is definitely kind of pointing towards it. All right, let's look at love for Sag. Anything else? Yeah. Boom. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, you got your walls up. I understand. But that could also be the problem here. You know, the moon showing that you may need to release this, break down your walls, almost be vulnerable. It's time to rebuild, but not the wall. Boundaries. Boundaries. Trust your intuition. There's a huge indication of trusting your intuition. You deserve something that reciprocates and balances. Again, the scales are there to show the balance. Trust it. Ten of Cups. Mm. We're moving into something much more beneficial for us. Finally, balance in our life, Sag. Wow. Could be through a friend group. Could be through meeting somebody the right place at the right time. All right, let's get some messages of love. Okay. What do we got here? Time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. Definitely moving on from that. Addiction and addiction is affecting this relationship. Maybe that's the maybe that's the challenge. Maybe this is too much for you and you're moving on and you deserve that. You know what I mean? It's not leaving somebody in their darkest moments. It's it's saying, I, I don't need this, especially if they're lying to you and all of that. So pay attention. Awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. With all this crown energy, I would say yes. That will empower you to balance out the scales finally. Know your worth. That's huge. All right. Let's get a closing message. This is a something you've been waiting for. Go for it. You'll be very happy when you do. All right, closing message for Sag. Oop, there they are. Compassion. You're being asked to be kinder to yourself, Sag. To give yourself a break instead of being a taskmaster, a bully, and a horrible friend. It actually says that. <laughs> be a loving comforter who always has your back. Give to yourself as much as you give to everybody else, and things will balance out. 
and patience. Sad you're being asked to practice patience right now. It's not easy to do this, but you're strong. And there's a reason why things aren't aligning in the way you want them to in this moment. Have patience. It will eventually work out. Fantastic. Be patient. Some time apart will give you this awakening that is just going to boom, open everything up to you, Sag. And that's fantastic. All right. That's going to do it for this week, Sag. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And put I, I trust in the comments. I trust to claim this. And I will see you next week.